by you all. I hope you all are fine. Welcome to our mathematics class. My dear students, we have started chapter number two. That is fractions and decimal. So till two point four, concept two point four, we have covered about the fractions. Okay, all right. So my dear students, today we are going to start about decimals. So are you ready for that? Yes. Okay. Open your notebook and write down. Today we will just recall about the decimal. What we have learned in the last year. Okay. Ready? Right. After this, you can solve easily your exercise number two point five. Okay. So now we will just recall about the decimal. What we have learned about the decimal? Yes. Very good. We have learned first point is expand. How to expand the numbers, my dear students? First of all, the example number A. We have can we read this number? Yes, three hundred twenty-five. So can we expand the number three hundred twenty-five? Yes. For expanding the value or expanding the number, first of all we should know about the place values. Right? Shall we recall place values? Very good. What are the place values that we have learned? Place values. Can you tell me about this first? Very good. Place values are ones, tens, hundred, thousands, and so on. Am I right? The numbers which are on the left hand side. Ones, tens. Okay, and how do we find out their values? One value is multiplied by one. As we know, all the values are increased by ten, right? Whenever we find out the value of number which is on a ten place, how we will find out? We should multiply by ten. For hundred place, multiply by hundred. For thousand place, multiply by thousand. Right. So the values which are on left hand side, these are increased by ten. Correct. So can you tell me the expanding form of number three hundred twenty-five? Very good. The number five is on ones place. Two is on tens place, and three is on hundred place. So three into hundred plus two into ten plus five. So we can write down directly the expanding form as three hundred plus twenty plus five. Right, my dear students? Correct. This is the expanding form of normal number, right? A whole number. Now suppose we have a decimal point, like example number B, four hundred fifty point three hundred twenty one. Correct. So how do you find the expanding form? As we know, the numbers which comes on right hand side of the decimal point. What about these values? Yes, we know it is a one, ten, right, hundred, thousand, right. We are now mentioning we have mentioned the ten, t e n. I will write. Not only ten, okay? Ten and hundred and number three is 
on 10 plus. Okay. So just keep in mind the values, the numbers which are on the right hand side. These values are decreased by 10. And the values which are on the left hand side of the decimal point, these values are increased by 10. So how do we write the exponent form? This we have already learned. 400 into 10 plus 5 plus 3 into 1 by 10. That is 3 by 10 plus 2 by 100 plus 1 by 1000. Correct my dear students? Like the we are writing expanded form. Correct? And now here we are writing the fraction. We can convert it into the decimal point also. How? This now we should write as it is. That is 400 into 10. So 400 plus 10. Because we are writing expanded form. Plus 10. Okay? Plus 5. Now. Now we are going to think about this. 3 by 10. How we will write in terms of decimal? We have to just see 3 divided by 10. Means we have only 1 zero. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to give the decimal point 0 0.3. Because only 1 zero is there. No? This is not that test. So point 0.3. Plus here we have two zeros. So we shall move, we should move two, we jump before two places. So how we will write? 0.02. Why we should be decimal points? Before two places because it is divided by 100. Like that. For one one. So now can you tell me? 0. How many zeros are there? Three zero are there. Okay. So how will you write? Zero, zero, one. I shift in my decimal point before the three number. Right? Because it was divided by one thousand. Understood? How to write the expanded form of a decimal number? Remember that we have learned already. Okay. Now we will move to the next point. And what we have learned about the decimal points? Decimal numbers? Yes, with expanding number, with expanding form, we have also learned about how to compare the decimals. Shall we recall? Yes, very good. So see here, we have a number 15.15 and 15.17. So now what we have to do? We have to compare. So how will we compare? My number is 15. 0.15 and means here I have to use compare sign, comparing sign. Okay? Do you remember comparing means was total amount? Whenever we have a word compare, that time only we have to find out which number is greater number and which number is a smaller number. Alright. So now we will learn. Now we will recall about how to compare the decimal number. Whenever we are comparing, what we are looking over? We look over. The numbers which comes before decimal point. Correct? The first number. Leftmost first number. Come, just take a number of first which is on the left hand side. Both numbers are same. Okay? So we cannot compare. Now check a second place of the left hand side. 5, 5. Again we cannot compare because again we have a same number. Now, check the number after decimal point. Again, here I have 1, here I have 1. So, can not. Now, check the next digit. Now, here I have a 5 and I have a 7. So, my dear students, can you tell me which is the total number? 5 or 7? Very good. 7. So, which number is greater? 15.17. 15.15 is less than 15 by 17. Am I right? Understood? Very good. Like that, can you solve this? Yes. 0 0.8. Compare the number with 0 0.08. Again, take the first place, left most, first place, 0, 0. So, can not. Okay? Now, check the number 8 and 0. After the decimal point, we here we have a number 8 and here we have a number 0. So which number is greater? 
zero point eight is greater than zero point zero eight. Remember? Yes, all right. So this is about comparing decimal point. Like that, we have already learned about how to convert the lower unit. Lower unit is mass. Percentage rupees. First of all, we know the conversion, the relation between rupees and paise, kilogram, gram, meter, millimeter, right? So we have already learned how to convert it into lower units. So we take example three paise is equal to how many rupees? Can you tell me, my dear students? One rupees is equal to rupees one is equal to how much paise? How many paise? Yes. Good. One and three 
minus one, three minus one, two. Correct? Nine minus six. How much were the two nights? Very good. Nine minus six. Answer is three. And nine minus seven. In the next session, okay. So, shall you recall all the concept of decimal points that we have already learned about expanded form, addition, subtraction, converting? Understood? Where should we put our decimal point? Okay. So, my dear students, today we will stop for here. After watching this session, definitely you will solve exercise number two point five. Try to solve on your own. I will send the video which helps you how to solve. Operations that we will see in the next session. Till the time, thank you.